up everybody welcome back first things first let's get things out in the open I'm missing a tooth so I caught a headbutt uh, quite a while back had a bunch of them get loose on me uh, I was hoping they tighten back up but no and one of them was really bothering me so I had it pulled and I'm in the process of getting it replaced so kind of humiliating kind of embarrassing uh, kind of been hiding so might as well just go ahead and address it that way I can go ahead and start making videos again. So, there you have it. Well, since I have been here, I have been really busy. I, it's not that I've really been hiding from you guys. I have been extremely busy with work. But this makes the first weekend in two months that I have been able to cut the yard in back-to-back -back weeks. So, that should show you how busy I've been. Those weeks, one of those weeks was over 100 every day or at 100 every day. And as you can tell, the yard looks much better. So I've managed to actually bring the yard back in the middle of the heat wave. So, um, basically, uh, if you saw the video that I did with PPLM, it was really just my sprinklers. You know, it's what I've been saying all summer long, all spring and summer long, is just lack of coverage from my sprinkler heads. Um, so once they've been adjusted and everything, the yard has really come around. I never applied the hydrotane. The only thing I have applied on this yard is a week ago today, I applied some quinclorac, and then uh, two days ago, I applied some liquid iron, some iron plus. That's it, but let me look at her. She looks good. So, but here's some of the weeds dying off from the quinclorac. So like I said, this is one week post-application. So you guys said you wanted some results? There you go. One week post epiquin chlorac. Did miss a couple spots, um, but the yard was getting taken over. Here's some crabgrass. That is dying very quickly. So, crabgrass turns red when it dies from quin chlorac, or when it dies, period. Wait until winter time. All you folks that have crabgrass in your yard now, once the weather starts getting cool, you'll notice you have a yard full of the red stuff. And that's the crabgrass dying. So, but I mean, like I said, it was all mixed in through the yard. Got it pretty good, though. So, once it comes time to aerate and seed and whatnot, all this will be gone. We'll fill the yard back in and get it looking like it did this spring. Although, like I said, she's looking pretty good for, for what it is. I mean, I know I don't have the prettiest yard in the world. It's still young. It's not even a year old yet. And, you know, keep in mind I had all the two hurricanes when I seeded. And, uh, you know, fungus and bugs followed by that. And this year we've had just the hottest summer we've had in a decade. So, but the hurricanes caused, you know, patches like, like this right here. Where it's just too thick. It's overcrowding. I mean, you can't, <laughs> you can't dig down to get to the soil. So that was from the hurricanes just washing all the seed, and the seed kept piling up in the same areas. And those are the areas in my yard that are struggling the most because it's just, it's overcrowded. Too much competition. So... I was thinking about getting like one of the Sun Joe dethatchers and uh, going over the yard uh, before we aerate and seed just to thin out some of those areas a little bit. Um, you can see, you know, the last round of fungus I had too. Just the areas that, you know, it thinned it out a little bit naturally for me. So one little spot right there, a little spot right here. Had some. And then right here. But I mean, it stopped right there. It's just, it's not spreading anymore. That's just where it is. And that's just what didn't make it. So, but that's fine. Like I said, it's right around, it falls right around the corner. This area right here is my biggest concern. Something's definitely going on here, aside from all the rocks and all that stuff. But I think something's under here.
All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Keep up with some uh, future updates. Uh, I know that aeration and seeding is coming up, so I'm going to be doing a full review on my Earthway 2600A Plus if you're looking for a new spreader. Um, I love it, so but I'm going to give it a full review, show you the ins and outs of it, what I do like, what I don't like about it, if I could change anything, uh, what, it, what it would be. So I'm going to give you a full honest review on that and uh, a couple other uh, applications going down too. So stay tuned for that. Till next time, peace.